puzzles on numbers and this is video number three let's solve the first question the product of two numbers is 120 and the sum of the squares is 289 the sum of the numbers is so let the numbers be x and y so the product of two numbers is 120 so x y is equals to 120 and the sum of their squares is 289 so x square plus y square is equal to 289 now what has been asked is the sum of the numbers so x plus y is equals to question mark what we can do to find out x plus y well we know the formula x plus y whole square which is equals to x square plus 2xy plus y square so we know the value of x square plus y square we also know the value of xy so we can put it in this equation and then take the under root of it. So it is equals to x square plus y square is 289 plus 2 times xy is 120 which is equals to 289 plus 2 times 120 is equals to 240 and that is equal to 529. So x plus y whole square is equals to 529 but that's not what we want we want x plus y so x plus y will be equals to take the under root on both of the sides of equals to so we get root of 529 so x plus y is root of 529 and root of 529 is equals to 23 because 529 is the square of 23 so we have the answer option b moving on to the next question if the sum of two numbers is 22 and the sum of their squares is 404 then what is the product of these numbers the sum of two numbers is 22 so x plus y is equals to 22 and the sum of their squares is 404 so x square plus y square is equals to 404 then what is x y now this equation the first one if we take the square on both the sides we can get x plus y the whole square is equals to 22 square so we can solve x plus y the whole square which is x square plus 2xy plus y square and this is equals to 22 square is equal 484 so we know the value of x square plus y square which is 404 so 2xy plus 404 is equals to 484 now 2xy is equals to 484 minus 404 and 484 minus 404 is equals to 80 so 2xy is equals to 80 but we want the value of xy so xy is equals to 80 by 2 and that is equals to 40 so option a So the sum of three consecutive numbers is 87. What is the greatest number? Well, if we assume the first number to be x, the next consecutive number will be x plus 1 and the next consecutive number will be x plus 2. So we have the three consecutive numbers x and x plus 1 and x plus 2. It has been given that the sum of these three consecutive numbers is 87. So x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 is equal to 87. So we can solve this for x, get the value of x and then get the value of the greatest number which is x plus 2. So this is equal to 1, 2, 3x plus 1 plus 2 is 3 is equal to 87. 3x is equal to 87 minus 3 will be equal to 84. So x is equal to 84 by 3. Therefore, the value of x will be equal to 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 8 is 24. So 28 is equals to x. Now the value of greatest number will be equal to x plus 2. And x plus 2 is equal to 28 plus 2. And that is equals to 30. So the value of greatest number is 30. Let us move on to the next question. 3 times the first of 3 consecutive odd integers is 
3 more than twice the third. So the third integer is. Okay, let us write the three consecutive odd integers. So if the first odd integer is x, the next odd integer will be 2 greater than that. So next will be x plus 2 and the next will be x plus 4. So we have the three consecutive odd numbers. Let's see what has been given. So it has been given that three times the first of these three consecutive odd numbers. So this is the first. So we have three times x is three more than twice the third. So it is equal to three more than three plus twice the third. So two times the third one is this two times x plus four. So we can solve this for x and get the third integer. So this is equal to 3x which is equal to 3 plus 2x plus 8. And that is if we move the 2x to the left hand side of equals to we get x is equal to 3 plus 8 which is 11. So the third integer is x plus 4. So we have to find out the value of x plus 4 which is equal to 11 plus 4 and that is 15. So our answer is 15. Finally the last question. The product of three consecutive even numbers when divided by 8 is 720. The product of their square roots is. So the three consecutive even numbers will be if we take the first even number as x the next will be 2 greater than that so x plus 2 and the next will be again 2 greater than that so x plus 4. So we have the three consecutive even numbers. Now when the product of these three consecutive even numbers is divided by 8. So take the product of these three consecutive numbers so x times x plus 2 times x plus 4. When divided by 8 will give you 720. So what is the product of their square root? So what has been asked is under root of x times under root of x plus 2 times under root of x plus 4. This can be simplified to under root of x times x plus 2 times x plus 4. Now we can get this value from here. So x times x plus 2 times x plus 4 is equal to 720 times 8. Let's put this value here. This is equal to under root of 720 times 8. And that is under root of 720 times 8 is equal to 576 0. So 5760 is equal to 720 times 8. And this can be written as under root of 576 times 10. And we know the under root of 576. It is 24. So this is equal to 24 root 10. So we have our answer 24 root 10.